Hi everyone, it's Laura from Prequilt, and I am here kicking off a new series that we're going to be adding to in the future. And what we'd like to do is every time we have a new pattern being launched as a digital coloring page on Prequilt, we'd like to do a little bit of a walkthrough to show you, um, one, the beautiful pattern, but also how to use the digital coloring pages so that you can make your own version of it at home. So today I'm so happy to announce that we have Granny Patch, the new quilt pattern designed by Brittany of Lo and Behold Stitchery on Prequilt as a digital coloring page. And um, it just got released today and there's four sizes to the pattern. There's the baby, the throw, a large throw, and then the queen size as well. And so each of those sizes has their own digital coloring page that you can use. Um, and you can see here that some of these look a little bit different from the cover because they have different colorways. And that's something that I'm going to walk you through in this walkthrough here. So I'm just going to get started with the cover quilt size, which is the throw. And what you do is you just click on color this pattern and it will open up the digital coloring page. So if you're not familiar with pre-quilt and what a digital coloring page is, it is essentially a much faster version than graph paper or a line drawing. Um, and what you can do is you can recolor um, the different fabrics used in the quilt to the ones that you would like to use, but everything follows the logic that is found in the pattern. So I can color, um, recolor or change any of these fabrics, but the logic that's in the pattern will still be able to be used to make this quilt. And so it's really a, a fun playground for you to make your own version of this quilt, but still have the confidence to be able to make it because you'll have the instructions for how to do that in the pattern itself. So I'm going to just do a little bit of a walkthrough here. First, um, on the far left is the quilt, where it gives a little bit of a background story of the importance of this quilt. Um, which is great. There's also a bit of information about Brittany from Lo and Behold Stitchery. So if you haven't seen her around Instagram yet, um, she makes some really truly beautiful quilts and there's a little bit of information about her here. Um, if you wanted to switch sizes and you didn't want to make the throw, you wanted to make a smaller or bigger one, uh, you can also click on that button here and it'll bring you to the profile where you can find all her other quilts. Um, but going back to the coloring page, what we're going to do is go to color book. And this is the bulk of, the, of what you're going to be doing at, um, on the digital coloring page. So there's nine different foreground fabrics. There's one background fabric. And we also put the binding in separately in case you wanted to use a totally different fabric for that. Um, and so what you see here is the original colorway, or in this case, the cover quilt. Um, but if you click on this toggle button, it will actually run you through some of the other colorways that Brittany had showcased in her quilt pattern. So this one's called Mediterranean Nights. This one is 80s Party with a dark background. And you can see how much a difference this, uh, just the background color is, because when you toggle to the light background, it's, it gives it a, such a different feel to it. Um, and so these, are, these four are really starting points to the quilt that you would like to make. Um, so I really love this one. Um, I actually really love all of them, but to give you an example of, of how you can use prequel, I'm going to use the 80s party dark background as an example. I'm going to show you how you can use both the randomized color button to find um, new colors that you would like. And I'm also going to show you how to override um, colors as well. So um, what I'm going to do first is I like all the foreground colors as they are. I don't want to change any of those right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little lock button um, and I'm going to lock all the foreground colors, one to nine, but I'm going to keep the background and the binding unlocked. Um, so what that means is when I click on this randomize colors button, it's going to randomly pull different colors and put them into the background and the binding. And this is just a really good springboard to kind of see what other colors might look really good with these colors. So if, for example, I really like this honey, um, Kona Honey. One thing that I would like to point out is that you can override the settings. So just say Kona is not your library of choice. You can come in here and you can actually also select any of the other major manufacturers. We have the color cards preloaded and um, prequel for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select Art Gallery and see what kind of options Art Gallery might have. 
Um, this is a really fun, very dramatic color, um, but maybe I wanted something a little bit more um, grayish. So I really like this color combination. I really like how these are playing off one another, and so I'm actually going to lock that now. Um, when I'm looking at this, the, the thing that might I might want to change a little bit is maybe um, I don't I don't really love the apricot as much anymore so I can unlock apricot and I can randomly select colors as well which I really like um, and just say maybe the antique gold isn't really um, inspiring me as much with this background so I can manually override that one so just say I know I kind of want to have a different color here I can manually select which one that I want to if I don't want to use the randomizer um, Okay, so now I have my quilt. I'm really excited to get started on this. Um, what's the next steps? So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, download the image. So when I click here on download image, it's going to pull up two sides. The side on the right is all the color swatches that I have um, for the fabrics being used. I can click download that. And this side's taking a second because it actually spits out a pretty high resolution image. So we're just going to give that a second to, to finish loading. And so this side is actually going to be a really excellent quilt map for when I'm creating the pattern. Okay, so when I download this design and I open it, I'm going to pull over here. Um, now I have this beautiful quilt map that I can use while making the quilt. I can print this off in color, put it with the pattern, and when I'm constructing it, I can just follow along and make sure I'm doing it correctly. Um, and then also, on the other side of it, I can take this list to the, to, this, to the shop or to my stash and make sure I'm pulling out all the correct fabrics. So that's, that's how you get started with um, pulling the content that you have from pre-quilt over into the real world. And then if you don't already have the pattern, you just go up here to buy the pattern button and it'll take you directly to Brittany's shop, lo and behold, stitchery.com. And this is where you can buy the pattern directly from Brittany. And so now I'm gonna talk about a few of the uh, features that are unlocked when you have an account with pre-quilt. The first being that you can clone this quilt and save it to your account. And what that means is if you're kind of in a work in progress or you're not really quite sure if this is what you really want to do or you've just simply run out of time and you don't want to start all over again, you can clone the quilt, um, you can clone the coloring page into your account. And then that means you can first off go and save it and always come back to it. Um, you can also save that as an existing colorway, so Laura's favorites. Um, and again, go ahead and save that. And another feature you can do as well is you can replace the solid colors with printed fabric swatches. So what I'm going to go here is I'm going to edit this one and I'm going to see what it would look like with some prints. So what I've done is I've preloaded some fabric swatches from Ruby Star and they're available here um, and as a paid, as a, as a paid pre-quilt subscription you can import printed fabric swatches. I'm going to pick this one and we're working on the scale of things but for now you can just kind of manually override that and so I can see what it would look like with these different fabric swatches in the quilt um, and so I'm not necessarily having to stick with print um, with solid fabrics. So I, I've changed that one out and I'm also going to change something that's orange here um, and use that some of these beautiful flowers. Um, the scale is, we're working on the scale right now, but we can start to see what that would look like. And I can over time also replace all of the solids with prints. So here's my final version. I'm really excited for this quilt. Um, I want to get started making it. So one of the things that you can definitely do right away is download the image. 
it's downloaded an image of my quilt map using the prints and when I click on the download the design it'll give me a JPEG that I can then go and take and print off in color and now this becomes my quilt map. So I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of the Granny Patch quilt by Lo and Behold Stitchery and we really look forward to seeing all the different versions out there. Thanks, have a good one, bye!